we will wait for some minutes and as soon as uh, other everyone will join we will start our lecture okay Okay, so we will start our lecture now. Okay, so yesterday, as you know, we have studies about open CV, how this open CV works. We we'll just have a very quick recap about it, and we will see how this is going to happen. Okay, open CV Python introduction to intro to Python, and we are introduction about how this open CV works. Still, if you don't satisfy with this enough introduction, you already have a Google uh, with yourself, and you can try with many of the different fields with Open CV, Open CV Python. Just remember, you don't need to try this Open CV. Try op to type Open CV for Python, so that whatever the Open CV which is related to the Python, you can get, and it will be most easier and sufficient for you. So, image and matrix, how the image is converted into matrix. So that we can have performance with the number, with a number point or with a number pre-processing part. Okay, because 
a processor or you can say a computerization is a computing method what the compute computing means means we are trying to do some operations with the data and if you are just getting the color instead of data that color is converted into number and the matrix as well like two dimensional just like a two dimensional picture we will get a two dimensional form of array in a form of matrix okay in a in a form of matrix and that matrix with the help of that matrix we are going to perform a different different type of operations with that picture so now the picture won't be related to a single part it could be many pictures just like a video processing so at that time what you need to do it's that the processing speed should be increased so instead of doing a one picture one frame at a time you need to use a while loop or a for loop for that so that the picture it is coming continuously that you will be moving further ahead okay with a different different frames just like in one second the power of the power of this laptop or the power of whatever the processor you make it totally depends on that some of some of the picture or some of the codes have a handle uh, can handle or have a potential to handle about 24 frames but some of also have 30 to 60 frame as well depends on the how your processor or how your ramp or how your code or algorithm is been sufficiently working at a great scale okay so as you move further how the C is a computer why I am tra always trying to give a same exam a different example like have can be done so that is also possible because I am giving you the several op options of one thing okay you cannot be nothing can be done within a one way that's the reason I'm telling you to try every possible way or can be done could be done or have to be done everything such kind of prepositions I'm been using around that Okay, so uh, as you know, this we are talking about the how do Im Im computer sees the images. Now, what is happening? The computer sees the images the same way as our eyes do. Just the qualities of our eyes. If it, if I tell you, it's around 567 megapixels. Our eyes has a potential, or it has a clarity of 567 megapixels, which is not you cannot find in any phone or any type of videos. Uh, videos or any type of the 2k and 8k videos are just more refineries but the catching of eye is literally not possible okay because if you have uh, exactly something like a uh, eyes or it will be very impossible to see the screen and a background to imagine that both are same or not okay so how this has been happening we are going to see that so the pro question is not what what is the clarity of uh, what clarity of a human or a computer can see the question is that as uh, I can see uh, eyes I'm talking about the same way computer sees but just depend on a webcam just like my webcam is a VGA it's around 2 to 3 megapixel ca megapixel camera so it will take a picture in that manner and the same way the data will be saved uh, data will be saved with in exactly in a that form okay and that can be can we have a th the third one or you can see the uh, fourth part which is called a grayscale part which is called a grayscale part it is called a grayscale part so now what's happen what is happening in this grayscale can anyone be just comment and tell me what is this been happening within this grayscale what is this grayscale we are talking about that the same picture we already have in within our site the same picture but the grayscale help us to take a instead of dividing a picture colors into three three different colors like red green and blue and the cocktails of all three it divides into just a two color it divides the whole frame or the whole image into just two color which is black and white and within the shade that whatever we want will be converted into grayscale images okay just like if we have instead of three scaling we have only one scale so now if you will be thinking like how many color can be made within the with the help of three colors with the help of this three color okay just i will give you a simple 
simple understanding that it will you will get it okay so 255 colors 255 uh, uh, let's take 56 there are 56 colors mm. okay 256 into 250 256 into 256 it's almost around 60 uh, answers okay reconnection is successful i think so it's been started six i need to see i just need to watch is it trying to conquer or not okay whatever the problem you had we will try to see and we'll try to solve this okay so as i told you in a, in a ppt that what we are going to perform with this numpy and we are going to try to install it first we are going to try the numpy as well as we are going to try to install um, open cv as well but we are going to do in one in a one way Bec we do have a different way to install like we can directly install into a command prompt as well as you can directly install in a different manner but as we go in a one direction it will be more understanding or beneficial to you to take a course in a case in a case and way okay so we will start with our and first i am using i am the one who has been using an anaconda prompt anaconda prompt uh, is been very easier to use because it gives you a different a different different options as well or installation of software as well just like a spider jupiter uh, r studio and all everything that's been connected to the anaconda has been a verified uh, i do still have a i do still i means i do still use a pycharm as well uh, i still use this pycharm as well okay uh, pycharm as well and it, this pycharm has been used for a data frame very extensively so it's been great to use that too it's totally depend on what you use we are just doing for the practical purpose for the for a tutorial purpose so within that any studio or if you are using a directly a python shell so it will be also good for uh, it will be also nice or it will be you can say it's very understandable for that but if you are having any projects or something then you can go with a different sectors or you can go with a different uh, with a different ide it totally depends on you okay so what we are going to do we are going to going to first go go to google uh, how to install it and all so it will be a long procedure i will just tell you how to install how to install open cv in python okay so what you need to do we just need to type type pip install open dash hi which is hyphen cv python python is just writing open cv it's not enough you need to write the python because this is something that will require to direct the some open cv which is in made for only for python you cannot download the open cv which is universal that will take you that will have a c plus plus and java c plus plus and java okay so you cannot do that okay you need to specify the python as well so i am just i put the enter and i will get the whole if it is i have already installed could not find the miss okay i think so i just put something unrelated i will try the another code okay so this is a this is a proper open cv install python this is a proper requirement satisfaction can you see all the requirement is satisfied and can you see just uh, read the packages that open cv packages open cv python 4.2.0 is already installed satisfied requirement already satisfied for numpy so if you are trying to install open cv python as well as the numpy will also be installed Okay, so we'll be waiting till the cursor will get again to the base 
it's been checking all the purpose that what else requirement is been satisfied okay if you have already downloaded it it will show you this way if you are not it will take you around four to five minutes to install it's not a big library but coming up with a numpy it will take a bit time it depends on internet of speed nothing else so we'll move further till then we just uh, reduce this we have already installed python and numpy both together so we no need now for installing any other part now so as let's let's go to our ide spider I, re I recommend you spider I'm uh, like I may not recommend I just don't take as a recommendation I suggest you a spider because spider is something very compatible to any other IDE and it's more easier to use and understand as well most colorful and most of the data scientists still for proto prototyping instead of MATLAB they use this only okay if I we won't go for the MATLAB and Octave and the paid versions still the one of the free versions where we can use uh, mostly spider this IDE has been showed very gratefully So I have written already code for some other things. So I will take a new file. Okay, so I got this new file. We will try to we will try to take this. Okay, now I will just increase the font size so it will be easier for you. So what we will start first by importing first by importing the CV2, which is OpenCV. Now OpenCV uh, as we write a NumPy, we write NumPy. For uh, as we write uh, for pandas, we write pandas. But for open CV, we write CV2. It is been named as that, and this yellow color shows that the CV2 imp imported but not used means it is imported. It is in condition, working condition, but it's still not used. Okay, so we'll move and try to use this. Just first, we what we we'll try to do? We will try to read a image. What we will try? We will try to read a image. Now here you can see if you are writing just any image, if you are writing any image name, it won't come. You need to be specific with that which type of image that you are been asking for. I have this WhatsApp images. I will just try to type. I will just try to type this. properties instead of file always try to give the path it will be more easier and it won't make any type of time delay within your uh, within your code so if I just go I will just change the name name I just say mm. this is a intern photo where, where I got from my whatsapp ok just intent dot jpge file dot jpeg file I clicked on ok and I type intern dot jpeg and again pull I will just try to read the file and I just try to run this. Let's see it's come here, take me as output or not. Okay, no error means everything is fine. Okay, so what if you need to try it as a zero, comma zero, comma zero? And do you remember what we uh, learned about yesterday? If I try to read zero, then it will the gray scale, the picture will load in a form of gray scale. The picture will load in a form of grayscale. Okay, so let's try any other. Now print that image. Okay. Now if I just take image as my as my variable for that. Okay, and then now here we can try to print that image. Whatever the file we ha they have read we will print that and let's see what the output comes 
it may be right it may be wrong totally dependent if it's wrong then there is a reason why i have written wrong because the errors are true most important thing you will ever learn in any type of coding can you see you we got a matrix if i just try to copy this and let's have a paste somewhere let's see what type of paste it is giving and i just paste it the dotted line what does this dotted line express it's it tell us that it's not easy thing it's not a easy image or you can say it's not a small image which will be coming in within the size it's showing that we are starting with a 16 17 and it's coming going to a long path and again 13 13 13 13 can you see the difference of 16 and 17 as we have this in a gray as we have this in a gray format as we have in a gray scale format so it is giving me a number what if we just change this from 0 to it will be 1 and let's try to run can you see we are getting different set can we we are getting different number 28 16 12 20 20 29 17 13 13 we are getting for each each molecule uh, so each pixel we are getting a three different values how many different values three different value whereas whereas in gray scale we used to get only one we used to get only one type of different values but for but for this but for the curry images can you see how big the matrix is it cannot be shifted in a one way or cannot be settled in a one within a one it will be more harder so they gave us in a different manner you can understand this within while going around or while seeing it it will be more easier for you that you are having value for or rgb for all rgb okay so let's move further and let's have one more type of coding so now after printing a image let's try to see the image what type of image so that we can know that what we are trying is right i am show okay and just we will put a uh, we will put first any name for windows in which windows we are trying to show and we will put put the image that we have tried to read or we have have a record of okay let's try to run and we have image see it's the part is not responding again for uh, any other purpose always this happens with my laptop it's been showing the uh, again Uh, unwanted distributed are not responding so it's de- it depends on how do you try to click or how do you try to show the images it's been not showed within me so f- sorry for that but if you try with this the same language you will get the value okay so this is happening we got the value so let's move further and let's try to see something different why it's not showing the image i will tell you now cv2 dot wait key there is a one more name called wait key why it is required wait key let's take i price 5000 wait key within that wait key means for what time this uh, this image should be should be kept okay so cv2 dot destroy all the tabs after watching that you need to be careful with the syntax right otherwise it it will give any uh, different errors all windows destroy all windows and again that's it so wait key is 5000 so means that till only for the 5 second your whole images will be shown so i just try to can you see image for the 5 second we showed what if i try to use zero zero so according to you zero should be something that it should not show or zero should be something that it should it will be infinite zero if you type a zero over then then that image will be appeared for the infinite time till you press 
an escape button because we have given a wait key so if you press the escape button it will remove from that so let's try to run and can you see select any top um, one topic machine learning for seven days for 2000 seven Linux days internship for 2000 tensorflow for 2000 or, or select 21 combo days means all 21 days you will get 5000 as you know the same data is been selected very much properly and if you try to even use or even try to make it less it won't work so this is a, this is a uh, this is a picture of our poster we, we are which is which is going to start from 15th from 15th to june for for uh, machine learning purposes from from machine learning deep learning at tensor for seven days all all three con in a continuous form so no no any struggle or no re un un unwanted requirement for this you can just go for the machine learning deep learning uh, the same uh, you, you can you see the registration link every everything has been already been showed i will just tell you please everyone try this machine learning because we are going to see a um, more and more practical versions over here because this this internship will be set up in a this way that we are going to have a practical version from from the definition will be started with the practical and the ending will be done with the practical version this is a whole planned version of any type of internship it not only you will be learning the internship but the activities will be given after every internship and your time limit which will be sufficient a very sufficient time limitation or you can say no time uh, limit also for for your as soon as you complete your activities you will get your certificate and you are going to get three different certificates for three different codes means if you are taking machine learning and deep learning you will get a different certificate for machine learning and you will get a different certificate for deep learning so that's the reason how we created it so that nothing is totally dependent to each uh, uh, independent is independent to each other in a course site but if you go with all three then it's beneficial for you because tensorflow is the whole library which follows the deep learning and machine learning part and that we will concentrate all the tensorflow things separately so that it will be more easier for you to understand a library which is used worldwide at the commercial level as still it is open source but it is used at a commercial level it won't be easy factor to understand such thing okay so please everyone try to have or just at the lookout at the syllabus because syllabus that we have created is not from the syllabus which is from the book or just the internet videos they are some they are something which is created by google as well as the amazon as well as the amazon for the syllabus of machine learning and deep learning as well maybe it sounds like i'm advertising about this but this is one of the kindest of or you can say one of the finest opportunity to have or do the learning internship it's not available throughout our india much but still we create it for you just at home the same internship that we we are providing now it's a, i have a 5000 rupees on one on one session but the same we are providing you within just a 2000 on online session because it's a quarantine time and we understand that uh, due to the lack of so much money and stab stabilization we have to do this type of we have to do this we have to do this type of thing for the beneficial of student as well okay so i won't be going much deeper in this i won't be deeper in this thank you so much for so i mean i'm not uh, cancelling my lecture now we are going to take a uh, more things and as, as i press escape key it will it will be stopped okay let's take any other example what else we can do with our example okay now what if we try to create one whole new file huh as like we have read we have show now why can't we have a write function in our uh, in our open cv so let's if after this destroying what we're going to try after destroying the whole windows what we are going to try we are going to try something different i am right these are the function or the syntax for from open cv as well so it's not come it is not within the python but the open cv from python okay so after trying we will type we will create one image less like a lena underscore copy or uh, instead of lena just type intern 
I always have a habit of using um, Lena Fick as a most of my tutorial stuff. And mostly the YouTubers and other teachers in on YouTube or you go and wherever teaching. Even in a face-to-face -face classes, most of the Lena which pick is one of the famous that you will be getting very very understandable and very easier to be used. Okay, so dot png comma dot png comma image. Okay, so we will try to run this. Let's see what's happened. Again, we got the image and just like a file explorer or variables you will find the image unit of what is the size of that image 9041280,3 what does that means 3 what does 3 stands for means 3 different types of colors okay we wrote a one whole in, uh, one a whole dot png image intern underscore copy we created that file it is not been sure that where it is created let's try to check the desktop in turn okay it's not here in the intern it may be went under the copy where the my uh, all the files will be stored from uh, of the spider okay so it's dependent on that totally fine let's try to see or run we will but as we know it will take a much time to it will take a much time to find within a 2 GB I have all almost in turn uh, you can say I have almost in I have almost different different almost 2 GB of files or 2 GB of setups so it will be a bit harder to uh, to say so we will create a path next time and give the path so that the whatever the image will be created will be created on the path so it will be more easier okay so let's try to take a more images so it will be easier to us for to take now let's take a video capture let's take a video capture instead of that we will take a video capture now okay now we have done with the image we have done a processing with the image everything will be done you can you can see the image if you can create image you can do anything with image you can go on open cv notes and you can try that we will try to have more uh, more classes on this open cv so that it will be more easier for you okay okay so let's try the capture part see the capture part like cap and it is equal to we imported the open cv cv2 cap is equal to equal to cv2 dot video capture this is syntax to video capture it is not something i i selfly created okay so zero why zero video capture uh, within a bracket i have put in a zero and a semicolon because if because i am using a primary camera primary camera which is my web camera okay so if i am be using this web camera this is most certainly important that what i am trying to be uh, what i am trying which type of camera i am been using if you have a desktop you are using an external camera so the machine will be automatically have given any of the part or number to that camera okay so try to use that type that camera which has been numbered it totally depend on you what you are using so I'm using webcam so I'm using zero so if I would have using a webcam or external camera then the number which is already been assigned to that type of to that camera I will be using that just like I have a four slots within my laptop so the four slots will have a different numbers as how many camera I use okay so as you know we were here talking about talking about uh, the video the camera video camera right so so this computer vision open cv is used for image processing was for image processing so while we are using video capture so video we if you are using videos then we should have this video capturing set statistic within that 
so we will be using while statement we are creating first one simple small variable and in within that one more variable for cap which will be sorry the buttons of mine okay cap dot read okay gray equals to gray cv2 dot cv3 color we are going to take a color image convert that frame we will do this conversion afterwards let's try to first see the camera that we are going to do cv2 dot i am show take a frame we are going to take a frame great okay so if cv2 dot weight key weight key One or it's like say weight key zero and and uh, one more thing that you need to use this is a syntax it's totally depend on that you need to use it or not I but mostly I will su suggest you or recommend you to use it because it will be more easier and safer to use the weight key oh my god. Okay, so if the weight key is a ordered queue means what I did I checked the weight key was defaultly set at the escape button but if you are uh, what I did I just referred that weight key sorry it's not should not be it should be frame the what I did I shifted that weight key to the queue so instead of escape button now you have to press Q to end the image and that image for part okay so now it will break it will that break and after that we will what we're going to do okay. break and it will take cap dot release after every time it will release the cap and after that what will happen it will cv2 will destroy all the windows Okay, so here we start. Let's try to run this. Okay, the Python console has been so this one is not been image okay one thing re remember uh, till then you are not completing this one okay I press escape now it will now the pro my program was never ended so my next program wouldn't been run that's the reason it wasn't running okay so remember those things okay now can you see there is a black because I kept a finger on them if I show you something
been working as working as image now it's been continuously stopped okay so if i press q it will end so video capturing is been done around that it's you are getting a bit problems over there you can try to do those things okay can you see images can you just see when we are getting 0 0 and 0 because we see in the black and the black will be the darkest part okay so this was a part that how we use our uh, cv2 okay, for more practical version so you can try you can try different methods or you can go to the documents of open cv and if you still want we will have the more lectures on this thank you so much